Hi, it's Emma from the Information Lab here and this video is going to go through how we can use Splunk um, to search through Tableau Logs. It corresponds with the blog that's also on the Information Lab website on this topic. Um, so have a look at that first before watching this video. Okay, so we've um, successfully set up a uh, folder to send all of our Tableau server logs from our Tableau server off to our Splunk database and um, as you can see I've already uh, logged into the Splunk web interface here as well. Um, so this is just a quick video on, on how to search your Tableau server logs that are being forwarded and just a couple of cool things that you can do with them just to start off with. Um, so I've, I've already gone into the search page um, just by hitting the search button and then we can start searching for things uh, in our server logs. Um, so one scenario could be, OK, someone a uh, user come and, comes and asks you, OK, when when was my dashboard last viewed and who viewed it? Who viewed it? Um, now, we could use some of the Tableau server uh, admin views to do this, um, but it might also be useful um, to, to use Splunk to easily and quickly search through all of the logs and get lots more information out of there as well. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to type in um, what I know the workbook is called. So this workbook is called Injuries. So I'm just going to type that in and press Enter. And I get all of the logs that mention this word. And if I just expand one of these, so the logs come in with a date and timestamp. And then I get all of the details in, in the log. And you can see that Splunk's actually cleverly passing this out. So it's quite readable. Um, and if I extend this information, um, then I can see all of these different fields that Splunk's pulled out and, and the values associated with them. Um, and interestingly, I've got um, a couple of interesting uh, and useful values down here. I've got v.site, which tells me what site the workbook is on, uh, v.user, which tells me um, the user that was uh, creating this log, so the user that was interacting with uh, this particular workbook at the time. And obviously down the bottom, I've got v.workbook, and that's um, coming up with the, the path um, to the injuries workbook. And if I click any of these items, I can add them to my search. So I've narrowed this search down now to that particular workbook and the particular path of that workbook. Pretty cool. Um, and I can also go ahead and add extra um, things to the search as well. So I can go back to this um, the person who posed the question and say, OK, so um, this is the date and time that your, um, your workbook was last viewed and this is who viewed it. Um, and as you can probably tell, these um, search terms could be also quite useful if you were to connect Tableau up to this Splunk uh, Tableau server data and start creating some uh, custom admin views uh, using these logs as well. Uh, so hopefully that's given you just a few directions of how to use the Splunk search with your Tableau server logs and also given you some ideas for, for what you can do with it as well. Okay, thanks very much.